hey, welcome back in, in today's video. Influencer abuse is sadly a something that we have to deal with. Right now, fellow YouTuber Edwin's generation is going through a really difficult thing where YouTuber Vincent Sear and his girlfriend Dasha are false flagging his videos, which put his channel in immediate danger. This is not funny. This is manipulation and the evidence towards these things are overwhelming. Additionally, it had been said that net nobody was taking over the reins of this and he was calling Edwin out. I have information that leads me to believe that this is not true, but maybe Vincent Sear has led him to believe different things as well. Angered a man called the king of receipts. I'm fucked. Or maybe he's called the king of This was the original video that uh, Net Nobody put out, seemingly uh, declaring war on Edwin. So, um, sexy Edwin, Sear, Dasha, Mina, all adults. They're all adults. Me, Chet Bobo, legendary YouTube sensation. Why the, why the fuck is that guy involved? Honestly, I have no fucking idea, but let's- So, this video was him uh, addressing some things between uh, him and Edwin. He was saying that uh, Edwin was uh, calling him out, calling him uh, a bad father, and different things like that. So about a year ago, back when I still had my DG Yo It's Adam Bro account, and thank you Edwin, you reminded me because fuck, I totally forgot about that fucking account. Uh, back in the day, about a year ago, uh, Sear had messaged me, and this is when we were like really popping off as friends, we just first started talking. Um, he had messaged me and um, he was just like tripping out and I was like, yo, what the fuck's wrong? And then he, he talked to me about what was going on with him and Edwin. And at the time, I had been told that Edwin was basically just talking a bunch of shit on him online and going after him and he was like, the reason he's doing this is because I kicked him out of the house, now he's blackmailing me. So, so basically what he's saying is that uh, Seer reached out to uh, Net Nobody, explained to him very hysterically that he was being blackmailed by Edwin. Net Nobody decided to do what any good friend would do, take up for him. Regardless of whatever the fuck opinion you want of me like getting involved in that, I, I was just, I was sticking up for a friend, so regardless, if you want to like talk shit on me, that's fine. No one could have prepared me for what was going to happen in the future, trust me. So yeah, um, I wound up going over to Edwin's Twitter. At the time, he had been tweeting about, uh, about my friend Sears and his girlfriend's relationship. And I was If you guys want to hear more of this video, I'm going to put it, the link to it in the description below. There's another part where he's actually declaring uh, war between him and Edwin. I'd also like to bring in a couple more things. So in his post, he said like this unapologetic asshole, basically implying that I have something to apologize for, which I'm not going to. Now that's gonna shock his whole fucking fan base and that's gonna shock a lot of people because they're gonna be like, oh my God, but what about all this new shit? What about all this new shit? All that new shit has fucking nothing to do with me. So I'm not going to apologize for it. He's saying that this drama between Vincent Sear, Dasha, Mina, and Edwin has nothing to do with him. Uh, it seems like in this video, he doesn't really want anything to do with it. He's more concerned about his family and people talking negatively uh, towards him in that aspect, as would anybody be. Apologize for, I guess, coming at, uh, coming at sexy Edwin when I believe that he was blackmailing my friend. But I, I will not apologize for anything else, and I won't apologize for bad behavior because I was just sticking up for a friend. So now there's drama between me and Edwin because, and, and Mina, because Mina is basically implying that I knew anything about this. So as we can see, he was just taking up for a friend, his friend being Vincent Sear, not really knowing much about the drama, not as much as we do, not knowing what Dasha had been up to, uh, not really caring either, just trying to do what he thought was right. You know, alleged on Dasha right now. So, for example, you know, she's being alleged for, uh, for leaking nude photos and revenge porn and shit like that. I'd like to go ahead and make this very clear. Never once in my career and never, like, ever have I sat here and agreed with this type of shit. The alleged things 
against Dasha, the revenge porn, the, the things that she posted on LOL Cow, those types of things, the things that are alleged, uh, the, the, the influencer abuse from Vincent Sear has nothing to do with him. He's saying that he feels attacked by Edwin and Mina uh, on a personal level. Your drama is no longer between Dasha and Edwin and Mina. It's now between me and you, and you and Mina. Like, I don't care about their fucking drama. Now I care that you're slandering my image. And I also care that you're calling me a bad parent. So I'm not going to apologize for not. So I myself have not ever heard Mina or Edwin uh, talk derogatively about Net Nobody or his parenting. Um, but in this video, I, I am there's not a lot of context here, which we'll clear that up in just a minute. It seems to me that he is more concerned that he's being sucked into drama that he really doesn't care about. I did a live stream yesterday where Net Nobody showed up and cleared a lot of this up. Where I'm feeling like the uh, this drama between him and Edwin probably can be avoided. It seems like a big misunderstanding. I'll have the link in the description to yesterday's live stream. It has time codes where you can read the full conversations of what Net Nobody was saying and trying to get across to people. He says that he posted that video because I had Edwin's fans in my mentions on Twitter telling me to be positive to Edwin because apparently Edwin had made a video on me on drama from over a year ago. I responded to the fans saying what he said in the video. So that was a response to the fans. Um, as content creators, we really don't have much control with it on whether or not the fans get triggered or not towards uh, other influencers, um, especially if the influencers have been made to believe uh, something that isn't true. Net Nobody says I don't like Edwin because he's trying to involve me in the Dasha Mina drama when I don't even know them. I'm Sears' friend, not Dasha or Mina. So he's saying that he doesn't give a crap for the drama between Dasha and Mina. He doesn't know those, these guys. He's only trying to stick up for his friend Seer. He's, that is the only thing that he's trying to do. Now I went on to ask him, does he have a personal agenda against Edwin? Or is it just because uh, he feels like Edwin's trying to drag him into drama that he feels like he has no part of? Net then went on to say, I never knew about Mina or Dasha, only that back before any of this even got public, Seer claimed to me Edwin is blackmailing, saying he's going to start drama with me publicly over a year ago and this was bothering net because this is drama that he felt needed to be let go of we know that um there are more serious things going on obviously that net nobody was not aware of it looks to me like net nobody is just trying to be a good friend but seeing the severity of and the depth that vincent sear is willing to go is pretty crazy Check this clip out. All of our friends on Discord, everyone I can trust, will flag it for harassment with like, um, with certain words, like it has to be very neutral, not like as if we sent our people. Like Vincent is gonna send out a little uh, thing to everyone that what it should sound like and what word it needs, to, words it needs to contain for YouTube to see it. And we're trying to get his video taken down and then another video taken down professionally by an agency. Um, and if he gets that three times, then his channel is going to be deleted. So once the video- Never before, I think in the history of uh, YouTube has there ever been such a confession, and this is coming from the, the lips of Dasha herself, such a confession of false copyright flag this should enrage every single youtuber that they are, would do this she is proclaiming that vincent sear is using his connections with inside of youtube to take down edwin's channel trying to orchestrate a conspiracy against edwin and mina videos taken down uh, is, is uploaded by him would you be down to like flag it on youtube i mean I so this is absolutely ridiculous i'm actually going to have the link to this tweet in the description i want to encourage you to uh, share this 
with everyone that you know because this is not just standing up for Edwin this is standing up against influencer abuse like this this cannot be quieted they're literally uh, what they're doing is so wrong now it looks like Vincent Sear was confiding into uh, net nobody in net nobody really was just trying to be a good friend because I remember I hadn't heard about it anymore since I thought it was just Edwin being a dick because he kicked him out. Then he goes on to say, Seer is losing his mind, in my opinion, I think. So this is somebody that personally knows Seer and he's saying that he, he thinks, in his opinion, from talking to Vincent that Vincent could be losing his mind on this. That makes me want to question his stability in this to YouTube to even take serious these copyright strikes. Because yes, these copyright strikes have hit Edwin's channel. I believe two videos have been taken down. He is lingering on one more video before his channel is deleted. This is something that needs awareness to it because YouTube needs to understand the stability of this person coming from a personal acquaintance uh, saying Sears losing his mind. It puts this all in question. Then Net Nobody said this. I told Sear the other day, unless you respond or sue, you are guilty on the phone. That's where I'm at to give it some perspective. So, so you can see that Net Nobody really does want an end to this. He doesn't want end to this drama. It does not want to be included into this and is advising his friend to commit through to a realistic action or he may be proven false. At least on my end, I'm encouraging Seer to do the same and give this a climax. And then Net Nobody goes on to say that if uh, Seer is lying, if, if these things are false, it would be against Net's moral code and he would be upset. Well, at this point, I think it needs to be taken to court or Seer needs to respond because if Seer is truly backing actions that directly conflict with my morals, it's a massive issue for me. So you can see Net just seems like a guy that really doesn't want anything to do with this. Uh, he, he's just trying to help out his friend Vincent Seer, and it looks like Vincent Seer is manipulating the situation. Uh, it, as far as the evidence ad that we have been following, it, it seems like... Uh, he has a very, very, very foul agenda. You can see that his emotions are real, and this is actually hurting him very badly. Exposing you for it? That's your response? You want it to shut me down, you know? It's just not fair. It's not fair. I just wanted to make a quick video just showing you guys that this is, this is her plan, okay? People are asking, what's her response? What's she gonna do next? Apparently, she's trying to take down my channel. I'll have the link to Edwin's video in the description below. As you can see, this is a big deal. Uh, this is influencer abuse. Uh, this is not right. Uh, nobody should be afraid to lose their channel. We have freedom of speech on this platform, and not just this platform, but in this entire country. And we have to stand up for this. You can see that this is harassment. You can see... Uh, the stress that it's putting on people and as a entire YouTube community I would encourage other youtubers to raise awareness to this issue because it is so very important and I feel like if we come together on this and and do something about it not only will it fundamentally impact and change YouTube's approach towards these types of things and maybe they'll take a little bit uh, better look of these kind of uh, false copyright flags before influencers lose their channels because so many people have lost their channels and had to suffer and endure the stress of this type of harassment from bigger youtubers we cannot let this happen any longer something has to change it has to change but as interesting as this is there's always something that i'm more interested in that's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Like, we gotta do something about this. Uh, definitely uh, support to Edwin. Um, I really do think that net nobody's intentions were pure. And um, 
you know, YouTube, you need to take a look at this, man. This is not cool. I had to endure this stuff. Edwin's having to endure this stuff. I've known people lost their channels, had to rebuild because of this stuff. This has got to stop. It, you, you need to work on this. It's important, and it goes beyond. So... I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're breaking. How do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there, and the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there. And that's just another reason how this channel loves you.